Uh, I remember when you said this stupid thing and that stupid thing, and I, I can just disavow all knowledge of it. But once you have it on tape, yes. good morning. Hi, Maria. Good morning. Good. I'm a spiritual teacher, and we're going to be inter uh, interviewing me on film. Seriously? Yeah, you have any questions for him? I don't want to look Okay, all right. Don't make up. Don't make up. All right. Okay, cool. Ask us questions and we'll do it off camera. Yeah, ask him the questions off camera. Ask us questions. Like, what kind we'll of do questions? Spiritual questions. Like, are you a priest or what? Are you a priest or what? No, no, I'm not ordained. No. Are you like. Just someone that understands the truth. See, now she understands the truth. You should talk with her. It sounded wow. deep, didn't it? See, it's going not so well already. <laughs> I tried to solicit a devotee. Look what happened. That, that could be I'll get the first. Right now. Do you want some coffee? Decaf for me. Decaf? We spiritual teachers are very sensitive to caffeine. Oh. I, I'd like some. Is this for real? He's a spiritual yeah, he's teacher. Really taping it. Okay. Yeah, I'm really taping. Do you, do you have tea? Do you have Earl Grey? We have black tea and we have um, orange herbal tea. Well, I'd like to get back to your question. Is black this for tea. real? Is that yeah, a spiritual that is question? No, is this no, is this for real? Like this? Like, are you? You mean this? No, not not this. <laughs> no, this not situation this, right but now. This, this. The situation right now. Well, from the point of view of a spiritual teacher, this situation right now could never be different than this. So when you say is it this for real, it's really is anything for real. It's anything for real. Is anything for real? I mean, how could you separate this situation that you find yourself in from all this? What if they're the same and they're for real? We think he's weird too. But can you feel it? Can you feel it? First devotee, perfectly in light. Can you feel? Can you feel it though? Do you feel it? Yes. It's juicy. First devotee, perfectly enlightened in 30 seconds. I know. Beat it. She totally Beat got that. it. Beat that, yeah. Beat that. Right. So goes one, uh, one uh, Earl, Earl Grey, or black tea. Black tea. Got yeah, it. and a short stack. They're going to be flocking in now because the true measure of a spiritual teacher is their conversion rate. That's right. It's about conversion rate. If I, if, if you can't finish, then what's the point? If you can't, if you can't finish the sale, if you can't close, what is the point? Come on in. That's fine. For you today. Yeah, Hi. good. Go ahead and sign a waiver. Um. No, that's okay. That, that wasn't my foot. That was this. Okay, do you like some ginger tea and a supper fresh cup of coffee? She, she just okay. came from her. The second, the second Wait, devotee appears. Another second? Short stack, please. You want to side by yes, okay? Jeff, while, while we're here on the record, uh, yes. the video record, I wanted to just. Moons over my hammy. Mm -hmm. You want hash brown or you want fries? Hash browns. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I thank just I just wanted to thank you for that transmission in the hot tub last night. That was really <laughs> special. Well, there's nothing like warm water and a good jet to stimulate scintillating conversation. You know, and I just felt so perfectly safe the whole time, and that's important to me. Safety is uh, is a common issue amongst seekers and people. Commencing, are we again? <laughs> commencing the spiritual path. But if you even have your foot in the door of noticing that, that it can, that there are other states, there are there is this mobility, then that's huge. And you can, then you have a, a, a vehicle for exploration. And that's the hard part. If someone is just locked in normal, to try to to try to just give them get them a, to have a flash of like. Wait a minute, wow, what was that? Even a flash, even yeah. an inkling. Yeah, yeah. Just to ratchet the normal into questioning. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's the, the first the first crisis, in the, the pivotal <laughs> crisis in spirituality. That's where you discover there's a there there, or there might be a there. But you discover, wow, this spirituality crap might actually have something to it. You know? And that is a, a, a function of grace. It can't really be controlled. It just has to come together. Having lucidity. Right. No, lu well, lucid doesn't hold as, as a state you can attain or lose. Lucidity, the true lucidity is lucidity which always obtains. The clarity with, with, in which any state always appears. I mean, even normal, dull normalcy appears in a transcendental clarity, or else it wouldn't appear. It would be, op it would be, it would be opaque, it would be something in the way. Yeah, yeah, right. And that clarity, that ever-present clarity, appears in transcendental clarity. Yeah, yes. Always. 
stupidity, normalcy, hell appears, appears. with absolute clarity. Yeah. And that clarity is the interesting stuff, because that clarity always obtains. Always attains yes. means it is. It is. Right. It always it, is. Without it beginning, is. end, or yes. even or even the so-called knower. Yes. It is. Yes. It is. And then, and then all states appear in relation, or I mean, we can posit in some relation to it. And discovering that relationship, and discovering the freedom of the range of, right. of possible possible states, we talked is the, the other process of discovery. Is the yoga. We spoke about blooms in the sentient space, which is really another metaphor for the same thing, yes. and they're not two. Yeah. Yeah, the blooms are the sentient space. Right. And thinking of them as blooms is a, it may, is a maybe, you know, sort of a, a, a relatively immature mm -hmm. approach to understanding the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Phenomena is difficult, to, well, not it's difficult, it's impossible. To, uh, actuality of phenomena cannot be collapsed to a model. So, <laughs> so and yet, and that's what the to, normal state of mind insists upon. Yes, and yet collapsing into models can be an interesting exercise in, in discovery of that fact, in discovery of the fact that it can't be collapsed. Some mind. physicists perhaps have become uh, more open-minded in the failed attempt to do so. Well, of course. I mean, I think any 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 more brilliant scientist will know that science is a game we play, whittling away at the at the undiscoverable, and every theory is an advance on the previous theory. But it, but it brings us, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, the, wonderful, the wonderful Greek mathematician who posited you can't ever get to the wall because you have to cover half the space and then half that space and then half that space and then half that space. Oh, right. So you never get there. You can never get to the wall. Someone's paradox, I forgot his name. Right. And science is like that. It's like, okay, now we're halfway closer. Mm hmm. Yeah. Next theory. Okay, now we're halfway closer than that. Yeah, yeah. That's the luck. But the blooms, the, the blooms in the ground, is an interesting model because all of a sudden you're dealing, you've sort of done away with it, with an objective universe. You've done away with the, a subject who's perceiving it, but you still have something going on. Okay. Undulating, appearing. Yeah, appearing, undulating, whatever. And then you can start chipping away at that. Okay. What if there's no blooms? What then? That would contradict the the starting point of this is real. No, not to say what if there were no blooms. No, that depends on, um, on, what, on how you're on what you're using the real term. Okay. This is this is the only real that can be found. Okay. But that doesn't mean anything in, in, in an absolute statement. That it's real. Sense. Yeah, I mean, All right. if this is as real as it gets, but there may be no real. There may be no in real. In which case, this is still as real as it gets. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that. <laughs> but, but the discovery of what that means is, is the spiritual path. That's impossible to apprehend. Yes, it's, it's impossible to apprehend, but it's not impossible to be. To, to be. know by being. To right. know textualists know by identity. Yes, right, right. Uh, yeah, clarity's, clarity is not uh, void. Right, well it may or may not be. But we can, but that's, that's getting, that's getting into some more cutting edge investigation. Right. Which is great, it's a cool place to be. Yeah. That's doing yoga. Mm-hmm.